Nicola Sturgeon has been told to get on with her day job of running Scotland as the SNP ramps up its plan for a second independence referendum. Ian Stewart, Scotland Office Minister said now was, not the time, to be tinkering with the Constitution, as he pledged that he didn't want to see any breakup of the UK. Speaking to the Express as part of our Unite the Kingdom campaign, he said there was a bond between all parts of the United Kingdom. He added, the word reckless is right, Scotland does not need to have another divisive independence referendum. When asked about the SNP's plans to put Indy Ref 2 on the ballot paper, Mr. Stewart said, it shows how moribund they are, they get up every day and think about, how I can undermine the United Kingdom. Rather than talk about economic growth, education and how the UK has worked together on tackling the coronavirus pandemic, it's yet more independence talk. We don't want to see any breakup of the United Kingdom, Mr Stewart pledged that no tinkering around with the Constitution would be tolerated when the UK has to deal with the health challenges from coronavirus. When asked about his thoughts on Nicola Sturgeon prioritizing independence, Mr. Stewart said, I just wish that she would get on with her day job. First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said a draft bill would be published setting out the timescale and potential question for a new referendum in her program for government in September. Express.co.uk understands the draft referendum bill would be published on Thursday as the Constitution Secretary is set to mark out the timeline in a statement to Holyrood. In an 11-point plan earlier this year, the party said it would announce a referendum if there is an SNP majority but the UK government refused to grant a Section 30 order, effectively daring Westminster to challenge it in the courts. Yesterday, Prime Minister Boris Johnson also criticised the SNP for seeking to hold a Scottish independence referendum at the most inappropriate time possible. Responding to SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford, the Prime Minister told the Commons, this government continues to invest massively in projects that will bring benefit to the whole of the UK, including to Scotland. The only thing that endangers those investments and working together as one UK, working with all the fantastic people in the armed services in Scotland, is the reckless referendum which I think his party insists on calling in the most inapposite time possible for this country. Pamela Nash, chief executive of Scotland in Union, said, Nicola Sturgeon is not listening to the priorities of the people of Scotland. 